Good morning everyone and welcome on this new another gold analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So again, before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly share the video. So here we are tracking the gold movement and so far as you can see, uh, as I told you, I'm expecting the gold to open with a gap. And as we can see, that is exactly what happened. And my signal for the gold is no longer valid because as we can see, it already hit the take profit level and even exceeded that level. So now what's next with the gold? Uh, based on the daily chart, we can see here a very strong bullish movement. And I believe that the gold is indeed going to continue the rise. So now the question is where exactly we can start buying the gold again and how far we can keep the longing. Uh, before we start again, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and please leave a comment if you wish to. So now from my point of, uh, of view, um, let's just stick now to the, to, the, to the daily chart. Now, as you can see right here, uh, we had indeed a broken level of, our, you know something, I need to delete the old signal so it won't confuse anybody at all. So now, as you can see here, we have a very clear broken level of a key resistance at 2416.92. And the market has opened uh, on Monday morning with a strong bullish candle, which seems like the market is indeed going to continue to rise above this level of a resistance. Now, the movement is going to be bullish in my opinion that has been confirmed. And if I just squeeze the chart like this, now we can draw here a channel and we can see how, uh, far, how far the gold is going to continue the rise uh, in that channel, which means in my opinion, the gold now has a potential to continue the rise till the edge of that level of a resistance trend line, which was also in the past a resistance trend line as well. So here we have resistance trend line number one, number two, and right here the gold is going toward that level, which means it actually might be in the bracket of 2530. Now, what does it tell us? It tells us that the gold must like now go going to continue the rise again, but we have to look for a place where we can start buying it. Now let's move to the four hour time frame. Now here on the four hour time frame, uh, what I have seen actually, actually here seems interesting because I have uh, actually, let me first of all squeeze the chart again like that so we can see it clearly. clearly. Now what I have seen right here is simply that level of a support trend line as we can see right here, there actually to be frankly speaking, uh, honest actually, it's like this. Uh, I made a mistake, sorry. Now here we can see that this is of course the strong key support trend line, which has become another key support trend line in the past for once, twice, thrice, and then here the, the bearish breakout happened and the same level became a resistance trend line number one, number two. Now what we are having here is simply another strong bullish movement. Now we can expect from the gold to make a pullback and then it will most likely be respecting those levels of support trend line. I cannot see the gold with this very strong bullish movement ignoring those levels of support trend line most likely it will be respecting it and afterward it will continue the rise now again where exactly can we place our take profit level if we are going to place our buy order exactly right there at the previous level of resistance right here let me just zoom in to show it to you uh, that is, of course, the bullish breakout candle. And usually we are going to place our buy order exactly right here at the same level of the nearest wick to that bullish breakout candle, which means uh, our buy order can be opened right here exactly at 2422.96. Now for the take profit level, how far can we expect the gold to continue the rise to? That's the big question. The answer lies, of course, in the Fibonacci retracement. So what I'm going to do I'm going to connect the Fibonacci from the last pulse, as we can see right, uh, right here, exactly like this from this uh, lower high to this lower low. Now, as you can see, uh, the gold has reversed at 119. Uh, it has reversed, of course, at 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. Now, most likely, it will continue the rise if it makes a pullback right here and reverse on that support trend line. It will continue the rise till it reaches Fibonacci 261.18. Uh, point eight, sorry, and that is going to be our uh, take profit level and hopefully it's going to be respected. Now, just to confirm, what I'm going to do right now is draw another channel like that. And now we can see clearly that we are having here a potential take profit level to be achieved because if the gold will make a pullback like this, it will continue the rise till it reaches indeed the edge of that channel, which was right here as uh, a resistance trend line and also Fibonacci 261.8. So all of them matches up in the same level of that resistance trend line and, uh, and that support trend line, which became a resistance trend line. So meaning we can look for around 500 pips exactly from our take profit level and the safe zone should not be ranging much lower 
uh, than Fibonacci. To, uh, 161.8 take profit level is going to be at 161.8 so meaning um there is a potential of uh, as we can see i'm expanding the safe zone why because there is always a possibility that the market might actually continue the fall till it reach 161.8 which was of course here a broken level of a resistance and after that it will continue the rise so making my safe zone to be uh, shorter than that is not fair but also we have to remember that the safe zone is going to be big it's going to be 280 pips against 517 pips hopefully will be in profit but to be frankly speaking also i would like to uh be honest with everybody uh that can actually be our like you can say like a safe zone like uh like here that might actually be like our safe zone and that area right here is like the dangerous territory meaning we have to be careful if uh the gold has ever been able to reach that area uh but as long as the gold is going to be able to range in this level so we should be safe we should be fine hopefully but reaching this zone right here is might actually be dangerous so again um don't worry guys i will be with you in this trade uh through telegram uh, this is of course my channel on telegram uh, don't trade by yourself guys trade with the extreme trader team so we will update you here about this signal about anything happens if i tell you to close it in profit or a small loss i will update you right here um, for example here this update we had uh, gold signal has reversed 30 pips from take profit level this signal is no longer valid so here i'm updating everybody on my youtube signals so just make sure to join this channel you can find the link in the description below of this video or you can just simply look at it right here extreme trader signals you will be able to join this channel for free and you will receive any updates i send about this signal i might actually tell you to close it right now in small uh profit or close it right now in small loss to prevent uh the signal from hitting our uh stop loss level so again i'm writing here the signal for you buy at 2422 um take profit level at 2473 is gonna be our tech profit level and hopefully this signal is gonna be good and again my friends uh last week our analysis on the gold was very uh profitable and it was a winning one but that doesn't mean that this one is gonna be a winner as well we are doing the best we can to analyze the gold again we have to remember that it's so risky and this signal might fail you have to understand this and you have to understand that you are fully responsible for your funds and the way you are trading this signal i'm not responsible at all of any losses happen that is only my advice for you on this market it's up to you to take it or leave it it's up to you how to handle it it's really completely up to you how much you are going to invest and if it failed it's um you have to be responsible for this because you have taken the signal knowing how much you are losing meaning you are a, you are a forex uh, trader you should be an investor and you should know and prepare for the stop loss and you should know that you are investing this amount so there is always a chance that any signal sent here might actually fail so please don't be surprised if the signal has failed again it's possible all the time that was my disclaimer so in the end i hope uh, that was uh, hopefully it's going to be a good signal and i hope uh, that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching